What's up everyone, this is Draco Evolve back yet again with some latest Manchester United transfer news and speculation. My apologies for a little later than normal update or upload. I uh, just finished uh, work late, we went out for, um, after work in a meeting and uh, enjoyed myself a little bit. But I'm back now so let's dive straight in. Today we got three things in particular to discuss, three things. It's going to be a Lukaku transfer update, Maguire transfer update and Paul Pogba's situation. But as always guys, before we get started, I'm gonna pick a comment which is from yesterday's video. So the yesterday's video around Neymar and pick a comment, highlight it, discuss it, and take it from there. Um, so the, the comment I'm gonna pick is from The United Man. Again, a fantastic YouTuber and he covers a lot of Manchester United content as well. So do go and check him out. But first of all, thank you buddy so much for the comments and he has this to say, Neymar, as much as he is talented, look at his attitude towards PSG. Plus, I hate diving and he's the worst in history. For what all his plan is, I can't even see United entertaining the idea. And in my opinion, opinion we shouldn't. <laughs> Thank you for that, buddy. And again, check his channel out. Great, great guy. And uh, lots of United content there and a lot of good insights as well. You'll enjoy watching him. Um, thank you for the comments. Neymar, I agree, he's such a talented player. I think at Barcelona he was immense, but I believe he couldn't take the fact that he was under Messi's shadow, hence why the move, and it was more money, money, mo money motivated as well. Him going to PSG, he thought he'll, he'll step out and be the man instead of being at Barcelona and being the man or being the shadow behind the man, which is Messi. It was all rosy at first than Mbappe, right? You know, you look at PSG, it's Mbappe. So he's under Mbappe's shadow now. And at that age, at the age he is at now, I don't believe he... He's still a world-class player, he's still such a talent. But at the age he is now, it's going to take... This is a psychological blow because he's got personal issues going on. Um, and his mo morale is clearly low. His injuries affected him. And... There's the reputation that he carries in terms of diving around and he's a bit of a pansy. Simple as that. He's probably one of the most hated players around but many opposition fans because of such great talent but hidden behind a lot of his antics he does on the pitch. Like for example, no, no there's no for examples anyway. But we, we've seen many examples where he's done it anyway. But one of the worst things that you can do for as a footballer in my opinion, one of the worst. It's it's right up there with the with the you know punching a fan maybe you know that's that's probably that's that's actually worse. But is is disrespecting your teammates and the club. Now he disrespected that by not even attending trainings in preseason. That shows a lot about his mental attitude, the type of person he is. Forget the player side, and that for me is. A big indication that he will never be a world class player because that reputation will be carried out throughout the rest of his career. We're going to look back and see he's done that at PSG. And whoever signing him, potentially maybe Barcelona, I don't even know where they're going to get the funds from, will be wary of that. And, you know, apparently, as you guys know, his, his dad, who is also his agent, going around loads of European clubs and offering Neymar services. And who's going to take them? You know, unless he takes a huge pay cut. He's earning so much at PSG. But. For all his plan, definitely no, definitely no, 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 stay away. As much as I would love to see him in, in the club, you know, big name on paper, etc. No, 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 no. We've done that. We've been through that. We've already got Pogba as a problem. No, no, no. But anyway, guys, into today's latest transfer news and speculation. We got some news around Romelu Lukaku. So we all know that Inter Milan are after him and Inter Milan are oh, hopefully offering Romelu Lukaku 45, 41 million over five years including bonuses if they can convince Manchester United to sell the striker. Inter's latest proposal for Lukaku will guarantee United £63 million including add-ons but structured over two or three years. It is believed that is still short of United expectations with the club wanting more than £79 million they paid for Everton in 2017. That's according to Sky in Italy, uh, Italy uh, that source. Um, my opinion even if they offer 50 million pounds, get rid of him. He's clearly not in our plan. He hasn't trained. Decent attitude. 
not a United type of player. Getting anything above fifty million pound out of him, it will be fantastic business. But the more you keep a player who's wanting to go out of the club, who's not participating in matches or preseason or whatever, the more damaging it becomes to the players around you, right? It's as simple as that. It's as simple. You can say that oh, Woodward is doing his deals and trying to get uh, as much a penny pinch as much as. But to be honest with you. The damage he's causing is is, is is you're keeping a player who's clearly doesn't want to be there, and uh, only because you want to haggle for extra ten million or thirteen million pound or sixty million pound. Why? Why? Inter offers sixty three million pound reportedly. Take it, take it, take it. It's as simple as that. Taking installments, whatever, but it's it's one problem out of the club now, and that's what I feel about Romelu Lukaku. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, do you feel Lukaku? Should stay at United and be given a chance. Or did say that everyone that's uh, going into the first game that's still at the club will be given a chance? Do you feel that he can make a turnaround at the club? He's relatively still young. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. It's simple as that. Got an update on Harry Maguire. So Brendan Rogers has been talking to S Talk Sport, and this is what he had to say about Harry Maguire that they are relaxed about the defender's future because no club has met the Fox's valuation of player. Manchester City and Manchester United have both been linked with moves for the 26 year old with reports on Monday which I covered suggesting the Red Devils had made an 80 million pound sorry I'm just hiccuping 80 million bid for the former Hull City man. So there you have it. This is what Brendesh Rogers had to say. It is pretty simple, really, and we are quite relaxed about it. Harry is a top class player, and of course, this has attracted interest with two bids coming in, but they are nowhere near to meeting the valuation of the club. Harry is relaxed about it. We are. He's been absolutely brilliant. I really have to add because I have been in this situation a number of times where where it can be very very difficult for players but he is a special guy you can see him on the pitch but off the pitch he's been very professional the supporters need to know how he has been he's never once sulked he has just gone on with it he's in integrated into the group he smiled he's taken part in everything we have wanted to do and he, he was sick yesterday and we had a number of players that were sick yesterday after we came back from our trip and in the case, in this case, circumstance, it can be very easy for him not to play. But he wanted to be with the squad. He came here to play, and you can see the quality he has in that 45 minutes. So there you have it, guys. Directly from Brendan Rogers himself, the manager of Leicester City, and he said that they are very relaxed about it because, according to him, we have and Man City supposedly have not met an 80 million pound valuation for Harry Maguire. I do believe that we will end up paying 80 million pound, but I think it's a matter of Edward were doing some sort of um, structured deals like pay 60 million pound and then 20 million pound over course of years and that has been reported recently um, I'm not sure if Leicester have agreed to that according to him they haven't but it can be all kind of smoke screen sort of like keep it on the table until the deal is done Leicester are spending they have been signing a few players they are spending money and they will look to balance the books it's as simple as that but it's great to see that this pretty much is confirmation that we have made a bid for Harry Maguire even though if United have not said it but we have made we are one of the clubs that have made a bid for Harry Maguire but obviously we have not met the valuation that we have been told and 80 million pound is the magic mark it's as simple as that but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you guys feel Harry Maguire and his attitude is fantastic, isn't it? That's that type of player you need, not sulking like a Neymar. But anyway, do you guys feel that Harry Maguire will take time to fit in because it clearly looks like he's, he's got, this still might take another week or two? Do you guys feel that he will fit into the squad straight away up and running for the Chelsea match? Do you think he will start? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And finally, the cancer of the game, obviously, is this guy. It's Raiola. He had something to say about the Pogba situation. And he said, there is still nothing, Raiola said, as he gave an update about Pogba's future. Staying at Manchester United, I live my life day by day. We'll see what happens. The end of this story has been written. We're here today. I don't know about tomorrow. So there you go. There you go, guys. 
that's obviously him talking but leave this this picture up there because you guys need to for those of you who don't know him you guys need to know him he is the cancer of football so he's given an update on Paul Pogba when he was parading he Matthias De Ligt to Juventus who's completed his transfer today and obviously he was asked about Pogba and he just simply said he just lives his day life day by day you know he's his Pogba's in Manchester now it can be different tomorrow so I do genuinely believe and Pogba has been performing really well especially the last game against Lee City has been phenomenal and so respect to him that he didn't sulk and skip training he's in training he's performing fair play fair play you know fair play but obviously earlier reports were saying that Madrid according you know Madrid who's come out apparently and told literally Ryan and Pogba to shut it because obviously you don't want to break any relation in, in Madrid's, Madrid's perspective if they're gonna make a deal with Manchester United with us in the future you don't really want to break relationship by having Manchester United players and their agent going around you know flirting on the media in regards to transfer so Madrid has told them to shut it and it's a good thing you know it's a ballsy move I will tell I will tell all of him especially I'll fire him probably if I get a chance but that's what Ariola had to say about Pogba. Uh, the end. He just said it's not over yet, but I reckon a few weeks to go. Where you gonna get your replacement? And I think I do genuinely believe Pogba will stay at the club. End up staying. How Manchester United fans receive him, I don't know. I think there will be sections of the fan base that will be giving him a tough time. You can say, you know, but. In saying that, if he pulls off a couple of decent good performances or shows his commitment like he has been showing in pre-season, all will be forgotten. It's as simple as that. You look at Rooney, Rooney has once come out and said the same thing, whether he done have a contract or not, I don't know. But the fans forgave him because his performances accompanied what his attitude was after saying that. But obviously Rooney didn't have this guy as his agent. So that's my concern right there. I think Pogba will stay, but how fans will react to him and will it dig it, will it, will it, will it, pull, it pull him down so much. I just hope that we get a proper proper player central midfielder next to him that will complement him. You know, Bruno Fernandes being one of them that will definitely complement him and take out a bit of a pressure away from him as a creative force. Um, but that's it guys. These were the latest sort of updates on Manchester United. And I try to bring you guys this sort of content on a daily basis. Again, if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button. You know, it helps and it goes a long way so I can continue bringing you the guys this content. And get involved, guys. Get commenting. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I pick it up and I'll, I, you can see I always interact with the comment section. And it's always nice to meet new people. And that's the whole point, you know. You network, you network, and you network. But anyway, guys, I'll leave you to it. Until next time, have a fantastic evening.